Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. Here we go, let's get in, let's do the drop. So we have got our characters of choice here. Copper Fang, Ring Dirk, and Crystal Eye. Oh my god, what great names. So uh, I immediately notice health on characters generally, and I notice that uh, Crystal and Dirk tend to be our better choices here. Uh, good damage on Dirk. Crystal's running on the low end, and Copper Fang, despite uh, having low health, has great, great high-end damage. So uh, what do we want to do here? What will determine our play? Necromancer and Firewalker for our traits here. Same here. Greedy and Firewalker. Ugh, decisions, decisions. Lightning plus Dwarf Turret. Shield plus Red Dragon. Uh, you know what? Ring Dirk's got a flower in his hair. Let's go with Ring Dirk. So here we go. A decent, decent run last time. You might you might remember we spent something like 25 minutes on a single run in the last episode. And uh, yeah, we are reaping the rewards with 1,100 gold in our pockets right now. So let's definitely spend some of that to increase our damage and some of that to increase our health. We will then take the remaining money and we will dump it into pacifist orbs. So there we go. We are all set. We are ready to go. And I uh, just wanted to take a jaunt down here. This is something that I haven't really mentioned before. But down below in the tower, uh, in addition to the New Game Plus scores, there are all of these little uh, markers that are tracking the different things that you're doing throughout the game. And you'll notice some of these will actually unlock things. Well, I'm waiting to see one that will unlock something. There you go. Purchase any 20, 20 unlocks to, uh, to gain the, pin, the pickaxe. There. So we have the pickaxe. That's an available weapon that we might get a character with because we filled up this marker. So you do whatever the marker wants you to do, and you will you will unlock the thing. So four out of five powers unlocked. So there you go. Uh, it's just a nice way to track your progress, to see what's going on, to track exactly what's happening down here and uh, to track exactly what's happening in your game as you progress. It's just a nice little touch. I like it. I had never ventured down there before in a video, so I thought that we should. And now, let's venture in to the depths of the vertical drop. So our current strategy, of course, is to get as many peace orbs as we can before finally abandoning those in favor of setting off every single alarm we see and killing every single enemy that we can. Let's see, can we get back up here? No, we can't. All right, so we got a bunch of enemies over there that are unfortunately going to go unkilled. What would you like, sir? I took out a Black Raven a while ago, and if, if you can defeat three more, I'll increase your minimum and maximum damage by two. You know what, that sounds great, and I see one down below, so I am definitely ready to murder him. Necromancer starting up already. I really, really like that Necromancer trait. It helps out a lot. Just a cascade of skeleton warriors heading down the level as we get further and further along. So uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be killing that raven. We'll go ahead and fall off here and make sure that we get all these kills that we can. You know, we are, uh, we are well... Uh, well above where we need to be power-wise in order to really handle the first level just about any time that we play now. I can't think of a scenario uh, where we would be underpowered uh, for level number one. And so, you know, this level just becomes the level where we set our pace. We want to kill everything that we can, and we want to get to a point where we are powerful enough to... Uh, really handle the the levels, uh, the last few levels of the game. Uh, so we have hit our uh, number. Uh, really regretting not having greedy here. Uh, the greedy is a trait that I almost, I am almost prepared to take on sight, regardless of the statistics of the character. I did pass up a character with greedy on our selection screen, uh, but you know, I don't want to be controlled by greedy. I don't want to be controlled by greed. I guess, is, is a better way of saying that. Uh, oh, missed that jump, darn. Uh, I don't want to be controlled by greedy uh, because I, you know, I want to be able to uh, explore different tactics and different abilities, uh, but greedy is really, really good. 
So we're going to go back up top because we do want to cash in for that extra damage. And uh, while we're doing that, uh, we actually can clean up some of the stuff that we missed. I'm not going to kill that guy. Well, we could try a lightning. Sure. There you go. Uh, yeah, crate here. We definitely want to grab that. And there's our friend who wants to increase our damage. Thank you, bud. So we are doing really well on the damage here. Leveling up, we're level four currently. Yeah, I have no complaints right now. No complaints whatsoever. Everything is coming up roses right now. Oh, more things to kill down here. All right, stuff that I missed the first time through. You know, this is tedious. This is probably not good, uh, you know, good television, as they say. But, uh... It, it's really going to help me to get further in the game, and I think that could potentially be uh, good television. Television. you got to come up with a better word for that. It, I feel really dumb saying good television. All right, so we are going to trigger that alarm for certain. Wow, he spawned in right on top of me. Uh, probably a couple of peace orbs that I could have grabbed there. Uh, maybe should have thought a little bit harder about when and how to trigger that, but oh well. All right. If you can find and activate three ancient tablets for me, I can increase your maximum damage by three. Hey, he wants to increase my damage. Hey, uh, did you know that you're literally standing beside one of these ancient tablets and, and if you put in any physical effort whatsoever, you could actually activate it yourself? Okay. Okay, not quite one-shotting these guys on our low hits. I think we are one-shotting them on high hits. Yes. Uh, I wish we were low. Sh I wish we our low end damage was to the point that it would. Uh, oh, hey, thanks. Uh, remembering that skeletons will, uh, skeletal minions will trigger alarms, as you can see. Oh, come on now. These maguses are just all over the place. All right. Looking for ancient tablets. I see that we missed one, and we're not going to be able to get back to it. So we will have to weigh the uh, way the possibility of going back up to the top. Again, I'll point out the same thing I pointed out last episode when I had Necromancer. Uh, you can see uh, my skeletons have a blue swirl on their head. Uh, enemy skeletons have a red swirl. I, I think that's a little bit too close. Uh, the enemy skeletons I notice do also have, you know, uh, mohawks or something such, some such thing. Uh, you know, so it, there is a distinction between them, but I wish maybe like enemy skeletons were, were black or something, or my skeletons were all the way blue or something, you know? Just something that could uh, that could help me out. All right, I'm gonna take the portal back up because there's not a whole lot going on up here. A couple enemies I can kill, I know for sure, but uh, I wanna get back down here and activate that tablet that I missed. And I think it's worth it. It's a couple seconds to gain some extra damage. You know, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not too worried about the time that we're losing there. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm starting to get a surplus of keys, so I do have to think seriously about freeing some of these guys. Uh, but as of right now, I'm just not thinking seriously about it for some reason. Uh, so let's correct that. Let's start. Uh, let's just say we're gonna we're gonna free the next trapped hero that we see, regardless of what that hero might be or what he might be uh, standing over. Uh, so yeah, a key to free a barbarian. Um, I did kind of commit myself to that, but then again, I could just say screw it and move on. Oh uh, yeah, let's do it. There we go. All right, I'm gonna free that barbarian. Go forth and do horrible and nasty things. And we're back. God, I forgot to turn off my cell phone. Sorry about that. So a bit of an interruption there, but oh, you know, you probably didn't even notice if I did my editing correctly. So that barbarian's doing some work. Uh, doing some work indeed. Where's my other ancient tablet? I know I missed it somewhere, you know, like the last episode where I was looking for a, a dark sniper upon rewatching that episode. I noticed I passed him at the very start of the episode, at the very start of the level. Like he's, he's right there at the very start of the level and I just bypassed him and then spent the rest of the level going, where's the dark sniper? I don't see him. Yeah. Nice to start things off with the Shrine of Restoration there, though I don't need it. Uh, it's nice to have that opportunity. There we go. So, let's see what we can do here. Do as much damage as we can. Oh, no, 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 sir. I do not like that spike pit of death. All right, spawn in gnolls and die. 
wow, yeah, that one gave me actually a lot of trouble. So uh, maybe I shouldn't sound so cocky. And I'm, I'm going to have to bypass those knolls because I just don't think I can uh, survive that spike uh, pit of death there. Lots and lots of gold. Lots and lots of crates. Uh, four enemies, 75 experience. Sure. Sure. And I almost regretted it there uh, because we almost had some problems. Oh, Quill Beast, die. Okay. I like the Quill Beast because they're, they're an enemy that actually requires some specific thought and timing. Uh, so that's kind of neat, you know, that they actually, uh, they can only be really hit effectively from behind. So I like it. I like it quite a bit. Definitely going to dip into that chest. And we shall continue forward. Things are going pretty well overall. I think it's a pretty good run so far. I'm having a lot of fun, certainly. And just continuing forward like clockwork. Lots of Quill Beasts. I like the variety that you get in the game. Uh, you know, I haven't seen Quill Beasts for, for several episodes, uh, actually. And now to come across a lot of them. You know, the variety is good. I mean, I think it's one of the, the big um, pluses of this game. I mean, this game has so many pluses. It, You know, if I'm totally honest, there's just so many good things going on with this game. And I continue to evangelize for it uh, as much as I can. Wow, lots and lots of stuff going on right there. Four enemies for 75 XP? Sure, why not? 75 XP will get me most of the way to the next level. And I can uh, probably survive... I am surprised, uh, really, at, at how much damage these guys are doing. It seems a little early to have guys doing this much damage to me, but, uh, you know, that's all right. We'll make it. We will make it through. All right, so we're going to drop a dwarf turret on this guy's head, even though he is probably going to warp up to us, and he did, uh, as he does tend to do. But good, our turret fell down with him. So now we're going to have some fun. Watch that turret just totally eat into him here and uh, finish him off. Not quite finish him off. Uh, yeah, you know, we might as well... Oh, no, I don't see a restoration shrine. I was going to say we might as well drop another turret because we'll have a restoration shrine, but I don't, in fact, see a restoration shrine. But I can spare some lightning. I can spare some wrath onto his head. Oh, man, I really want that thief, but I just... I'm not going to get in there without taking damage. It's not going to happen. All right, well, yeah, let's call it. There we go. On to the next, on to four. So, where are we headed? Where are we headed? We're headed this way, yeah. Let's go the way that actually benefits us. There it is. Flies. Wonderful. I hate flies. I think I'm pretty much on record as hating flies. They suck a whole lot. Alright, damage is feeling a little bit low. I was just about to say I'm going to avoid triggering alarms, then a skeleton triggered an alarm, and then I triggered an alarm. Uh, so yeah, that was great and effective. Uh, so we've got enough keys, and uh, the run is kind of starting to go a little bit south. Well, not south, but it's starting to get difficult. Uh, so I'm going to start using keys and freeing people. And uh, in particular, that barbarian is going to do a lot of work for me, as you do see there. Oh, okay. Hi, how you doing? You are a weird-looking skunk. All right, so we have a ranger there that we now can't free because I fell down a little prematurely. That's not no normally a problem that I have, I promise you. Glad my wife doesn't watch these. All right, so let's evade those. Oh, look, you just you want to come with me, don't you? Yeah, you do. All right, so I need more skeleton warriors. I need a bigger army. There you go. Keep coming, guys. Keep coming. Thank you. I require your assistance. Okay, sounds like we got something big going on down there. Oh yeah, it's our favorite mummy guy. I'm really close to a level, and I think I kind of need to get a level, or I am potentially going to die. There's my level. Uh, so let's go ahead and dwarf turret here. We have a double. We have a double. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a double boss. All right. So I'm going to let my stuff do work. I'm going to send out my lightning. I'm going to try to cheese it as best I can, and it has been cheesed, and the day is won. Perfect. Tons and tons of money. Looking really great. I like it. Ah, uh, that music. Oh, love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's the way it's, it's, it grows. 
it starts and then it gets bigger and bigger. It's just it's it's some of the some of my favorite music in in, in a game right now. Uh, definitely this year. Lots of these guys. Lightning. That'll help me out. There we go. Yeah, get some skeletons to start heading down. Yeah, perfect, perfect. All right, Ratman. What are you offering me, guy? Lock picks. Open golden chest without using keys. That sounds really good, but I have eight keys right now. Like, I, I don't actually find myself having a problem getting keys. So I would rather keep my trait pool clean and uh, save 335 gold. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we've got a shrine here, so we might as well just spam out some lightning since we can immediately restore. There we go. And uh, yeah, we'll, look at that lightning following him. Is it going to ever? No. Okay, it's just glitched out. That's fine. It looks like he has a lightning tail. That's kind of cool. So we did find out about our wizard. Oh, that's nice. Once I once I killed him, it actually uh, jumped around to some other guys. We found out our wizard will actually um, shield our skeleton warriors. So that's pretty cool. We like that a lot. All right, mushroom. There we go. Okay, so I'm floating. That was weird. A little bit of a glitch there. You know, it happens. Uh, golem shift. Turns your hero into a golem for 10 seconds, slower and heavier, but able to break blocks by standing on them. It takes 25% less damage. You know what? That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty darn good. So we're going to take that. 150 kills. That seems to be a high watermark. I believe I remember getting something for 150 kills. Uh, so that lets us know that, you know, we're on a nice productive run. Uh, so that wizard has been uh, dutifully shielding me, and it's been really, really uh, nice to have. Uh, the ranger would be nice. I don't think I can make that jump without taking damage. Uh, what do we have here? Four enemies for two gems. Sure, why not? And we will spawn some lightning. Just didn't want to get kind of trapped in there. That felt like that could have been really, really bad. Uh, so we're doing surprisingly well, and I'm uh, I'm not at all kind of scared uh, for what lies ahead of us. I am scared that it might be the Mecha Goblin, and uh, that would basically spell game over for us, but uh, I am optimistic. All right, so we're going to start bypassing some stuff here just to try to get uh, where we need to be. I will definitely kill this uh, Quill Beast, though, because he's really easy when he's facing the correct direction. Okay. All right. Don't like that. Don't like that. We will do that. And hey, it's our old friend, a goblin riding a troll. Okay, so our knight, uh, our paladin, unfortunately, ended up down at the very bottom. And uh, yeah, I did forget these little gargoyle guys do like to follow you. Uh, so that sucks. Let's send out some lightning. Just try to maybe clear out a little bit. Yeah, that was nice. That worked out really well. And uh, then we'll drop our dwarf turrets. There we go. Do work. I love it. I love it. Look at him go. Look at him go. And as soon as he's done, I'm going to drop his brother. You know what? Let's go ahead and drop his brother right now. Oh, who knew dwarves with machine guns could be so pleasing and satisfying? I'll sneak in here for the last hit. Pretend like I'm a hero. Open up that chest and we are on. Moving on. Yeah, can't get to the Restoration Shrine. That's a little bit rough, but uh, we're... Oof, the ominous red background of level number six. Uh, hopefully, things are going to uh, not go south here, as they so often do. So we're getting into this pattern here now of, of kind of, you know, one run. Uh, oh, do we have a fire level? Oh, no. Yeah, so uh, I bid you guys adieu. It's a fire level. So I think that's going to mean uh, our, our end here. All right, so these little spiders actually, um, they, they are extremely annoying, but they can give me skeletons, which would be really nice, but they can also give me fire, uh, which is not very nice at all. So you know what? I'm going to rush to the bottom of this level. I think that's probably a mistake in the long run, uh, but I'll free a paladin and uh, I will start uh, headed for the, heading for the bottom here. Fly spawners, I believe they will follow me down. I believe that they will. But with a fire level at this point in the game, I just, I, I feel like I have no choice but to rush, but to move. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to move as fast as I can and just try to survive. And it is a mama spider. 
I don't really like the look of that, but we do have full refills on all of our abilities. So lightning, 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 and uh, we get trapped in a weird corner here. Okay, that following lightning is great. Does that spider warp or is that a glitch? Interesting. All right, well, dwarfs. Oh yeah, it looks like the spider does have some sort of warping ability. And I think we will just survive, and we do. Just barely. And I'm happy. You know what? I think this might be the farthest we've made it on camera. Yeah, it is. Music change, tile shift, tile set shift. Looking good. If you have no keys, breaking a chest or door will work too. Yeah, I know. I've heard. I don't think I've ever actually been able to do that though. All right, here we go. Let's move. There's a thief. We definitely want to free, free the thief. Hopefully he won't be so stupid as to immediately walk on spikes. Oh, zombies. Cool. I don't believe I've seen the zombies before. Uh, I think at this point, I just have to test the waters. Oh, that's weird. Oh, do zombies not die? They just sort of... Oh, you just sort of subdue them? Okay, now all my skeletons are triggering alarms. And it's getting really hairy up here. So it would appear that zombies don't actually... Oh, great. Traps. Wonderful. Oh, the traps that infinitely reset. Okay, okay. Okay, so he dropped his... Is it worth it to even go over there and try to get that? Uh, I don't know. Apparently it was. I, I didn't die, and there is life over here. Although I did uh, pass up a key in the water there. This is going to be tough. I think this might be the end, folks. There it is. The end. You know, it was interesting. I don't think I've actually ever made it to that level before. That was level 8, I do believe. Level 7. Adventure ended on level 7, 18 minutes. Wow. Yeah. That was actually really good. That was a good run. And I think that uh, I think that's going to do it. One run is becoming our standard here at this point uh, because the runs are getting so long. I've I tried not to dilly-dally so much in that run as I did last time. Uh, but yeah, I was really impressed. I think that run went really well. And uh, it, the game continues to intrigue me, and I hope it continues to intrigue you. We will continue the series here, and uh, I am plan planning to play this for as long as it stays fun. So uh, yeah, hopefully some of you, the few of you who have been loyal, uh, will continue to join me. All right, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.